What's up guys, Deep Tech here. I'm gonna show you how to unlock your bootloader and install DWRP and flash a custom home on it. If you're just fed up of your One UI and it's getting outdated for you and you want fresh GSI generic system image on your phone, so this is on your own risk. Do it on your own risk i don't take any responsibility i will help you out with this it's simple step this is only for samsung galaxy s21 with exynos processor all the links for the files will be down below so i'll make everything easy for you to do so the steps are first what you do is go to settings enable developer option Go to settings, go to about software information and go to developer option you need to click on this you are already a developer, it's already a developer for me. So I go back, go to develop option, slide down if this is untick, tick it on then what you do is go back, press or go to settings, click go so go to notification then click on power power off power off device you need to connect your USB cable to your computer for this to work so then it won't work yeah and you need a PC with windows on it not Mac no no Linux nothing just plain old windows so once you're in sleep mode or the phone is completely dead press volume up volume down together before you put this in once you put it in it will go to recovery mode of Samsung this is a Samsung recovery mode press and hold volume up once you hold volume up it says volume up to unlock bootloader this may void your warranty so your warranty is gone out of the window from now just press volume up for yes so it is unlocking my bootloader now so it will press and hold the key so it's erasing my one UI completely so this is one UI so I would not recommend you to go through all the steps if you I would not recommend you to log in if you want to put a AOSP or any GSI on it so this will be just a normal login for Samsung and if you want to root your device is completely fine because the bootloader is unlocked and the next step will be to install TWRP so I won't do the steps for now so what you do is volume down and power button volume up and volume down and put your usb which is connected to your pc and the rest steps i will show you on the computer now so to go in download mode just press volume up and it's in download mode that's what you want and next step is to download odin everything will be down below all the links are down below so this is a patch version of odin odin 3 version 3.14.13b patch d so this is the one you want because it has user data so what you have to do is in ap you need to put the twrp and you need to put the vb meta data vb meta disable in user data and then just press start once it's press start it will flash the recovery to the phone and 
and that's it you have TWRP in your phone it just restarted disconnect and you need to press volume up and power button volume down and power button to restart and volume up and power button for TWRP the next steps I will tell you is what to do is it will be on the screen but the thing is you need to go to uh, go to advance then after going to advance uh, go to terminal and type multi disabler once you press that it says finish and just press again if once it says finish then it's done go back go back go to wipe and format data and say yes and reboot Just to verify, you need to reboot just to verify if the OS is fine. So that's it. You can see the window, uh, the One UI booted up after a long time. That means your TWRP is installed. Uh, you need to plug in your data cable. Turn it off. So you need to have your data cable connected then volume up and power button to go to recovery because it won't go to recovery mode until and unless there is a data cable so you can see that it's been it's gone to recovery so what you have to do is the next step I'm going to show you is you need to go to this site which will be down below generic system image which will list generic system image is all is a generic image which you can flash on your devices all your Android device can support if they have GSI like it supports GSI I would say and uh, most of them support nowadays but previously it was very hard to support them and mostly I would say use AOSP which is built by Travel, uh, Travel Droids build so what I am doing is I am copying the leaf OS system dot image uh, and uh, the a O I T T W R P O A O I fix in one folder. So, so I named the folder as Leaf OS and I copied the system dot image which I had already extracted and I put it in one folder. So I copy the folder and put it in my hard drive. So, so I just copy paste it here, here. So, so once it's done so once you copy the leaf OS on your hard drive disconnect the hard drive
connect it to your mobile then go to install select your OTG once you select the OTG go to leafOS select the system.image go right down click on system swipe wait for it to install it will take a bit while let it take its sweet time don't worry once it's done it just go back to it you just go back back again and then click on TWRP AOI fix once you click on it swipe and let it install it it fixes the mic issue and adaptive refresh rate issue with the GSI it basically has this in it if you don't do that step it will have some issue with the mic and uh, in the camera mic in the camera and the refresh rate will be up and down up and down everywhere so once you've done it just hit, just, uh, just hit erase I would say just give it a clean erase and reboot the system that's it you have now a custom OS on your Samsung Galaxy S21 which is Leaf OS here we go that's Leaf OS let me just skip into the system and let's see how it is let's skip everything just skip, skip. Here's your Samsung Galaxy S21 on Leaf OS. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, long video of mine. And peace out. Thank you.